Hello everyone, Son of Beast and Wood Spoony here. And this time, you know what it's time for? It's playoff time! That's right, the postseason is here and we are back again for the NBA teams who are ready to compete from the first through eighth seed of Eastern and Western Conference. The next time who wins this game will be moving on to the second conference finals and the NBA Finals. Who do you think will win this year? Find out where the bracket starts here. Here we go. Hey everybody, Son of Feast on Woods for the Half. This is NBA 2K Sports of the NBA Playoffs. We're happy to have you here with us today, and this is time to bring things on from hockey to basketball. And we're ready to find out who will win this series of the matchup between the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference of each team. We start things off with going for the third seed versus the sixth seed. As for the next game will be underway there soon, but the fifth and fourth and fifth seed are the first stop to be here on the lookout chain. New York Knicks are ready to battle against the Orlando Magic, and they are back. After missing the NBA playoffs last season, they are about to join in this season, or along with the courtesy of the moment, to find out who will have it here. And for all for the goodness to my kid here, New York Knicks, one of the biggest times in their night night, might be seeing if he can definitely do this one again, or the Orlando Magic might have the answer in there. Here to starting lineups as the next commentator I will have is Gates the Beast, along with the Ultra Beast, and finally we have it here is all called for Boomer. And the main commentary that will be all for everything. You know the name, it's what they usually do say, paintbrush. Here the matchups are Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo, OG Anobi, Josh Park, and Isaiah Hardenstein. On the other side for the matchup, we have is Jalen Sulks, Gary Karras, Franz Wagner, Paolo Banchero, and Wendell Carter Jr. Time for the first game of the NBA playoffs. Are you ready? Oh, yes, I am ready. Let's bring it on. Let's send you down to Amway Center, and we are ready. Take it away, guys. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA playoffs. Good evening, everyone. It's that game time of the NBA playoffs coming to you live here in Orlando, Florida. I'm Pete Grash, and my commentators are right here with Ultra Beast, Gangsta Beast, Boomer, and of course we have his eye on the force. It's game time here at Orlando and they're back since we've seen them playing here since 2020 was the last one that they had played here before. And now they're ready to do the playoff. The matchups are always the easier thing. I really love to see what goes in. It's going to be a lot of great uh, matchups in between the New York and the Orlando team. Last time it was the Cleveland Cavaliers. They already made a win against the New York Knicks in the seventh game in overtime. But now, this is going to happen again, and let's find out. There's another way go. Ball is tipped, and we are ready to start the NBA playoffs. Oh, fuel it, ready to go. Jalen Suggs, he's on Jalen Brunson. And it's part on Benchero. Her crossover gear is Wendell Carter Jr. on Isaiah Hardenstein. Then across from the other angle, we have in here is Gary Harris on, uh, on Dante DiVincenzo. And finally, we have here, is in the middle of the slot, Paul for Manchero on Josh Carr. Now, Josh Carr was really like a bear up there in this offense, and I got a good feeling right in between the range. They have to be out there clearly enough. They really have to show how it's done because they really are trying to get that one over in the offense and trying to keep up their way in the uh, lineups. That scrimmage test will be all along with the better uh, statistic runs in the scores because they always do what they can. It's a great layup that he has it already in there, but got to try to keep on focus if he can. Find it up and pass the win out. Carter! Good block here by Hardenstein. He denies the shot with a slam dunk down, and this one goes back the airway. 
Oh, that one's going to be like a tricky move. I mean, not even anybody likes that. You know the hard feeling about that? It doesn't really mention that when you have that one blocked in shot, you just have to go right for it here and just try to do it on your own time. You really do not want to mess this one up at all. Harden Stein takes a second bucket of this game, and this one up again by six. And now here's Jalen Slutsy over again to Harris. The deep pass to Ventura. Over to shot. Go in as Ventura will have his first bucket in the playoffs. The start one turns to be like it's all for everybody, but because the follow Ventura have to be out there, a clear look again. And Jalen Brunson's up. That shot's been fouled. Calls on Orlando Magic. As Jalen Suggs grabs his first personal and her first team foul on Orlando. Well, this is what happens. The back step has to be out there and provable. But what happened here, he got tied up already. He got caught. As Jalen Suggs did not have that gold head chance to get that one right away. That's going to be a hard one to take him down if he gets it. First trip to the free throw line will be the New York Knicks as Jalen Brunson is at the free throw line shooting two at the free throw range. That first free throw misses the mark. We know about Amway Center, but now this is a rechanging to Kia Center. And this one is going to be our start new season in 2024 to 25. Yeah, everything is a lot that changing right now. As you can always say right now that it's been pretty long for the Amway Center, but now this is the time to make that one make it new and bring it back here without losing the contract in between. So they decided to do this, replace it, and I think Kia Center might be a perfect fit. Yeah, I have to go with that one out there. They can go for anybody. After Jalen Brunson gets the second free throw, here's Suggs in the corner, now finding again to Harris. Over with a shot! Oh, what a takeover around! Jalen Suggs with his first bucket, and as that one, Harris will have his first bucket of the game against the Knicks. You know the hard thing about that? I just say that Jalen Suggs saw that Gary Harris made that one with a great try. Just really going to take all over it, you just may have to feel like you're on the rollout. Rolls in and out. Ball takes over Ventura, and now he gives again to Harris. Harris right toward the corner, now finding again to Suggs. Ventura right with him on Hut. Art. Here's the shot for Suggs. Up and way up in around Brunson. He will have his first bucket in. Take all that consecration, and now Jalen Suggs had that one with the first layup. Keep it going in. Now it's a, oh, he finishes off with a slam down that one. That's going to be a first breakdown for Orlando. Mm, you can't win that one all thing if you don't want that. You have to keep that one out of there for as long as you get there. And as we're saying, after the win puts in for the New Orleans Pelicans, this was not the, what they expected. Because at that point, it doesn't really help on its way down. How does it really happen if the Magic keeps on going in for the Knicks as they keep on rolling it, guys? Well, they're really like in the hard one. I have a lot of pressure to maintain it all for, for some reasons. They don't really appreciate that, and they just do not really think that no one is really up to the challenge. They are trying to fight for it. Not the impact is going to keep on rolling more, more the mark, but they don't really want to take all of their recitations over here, and they really can't let that happen. This is what happens. They don't, don't, they don't do. They don't try to keep on going in there, and that's what the hard one is. They just got to keep that out. For Bob and Cheryl, they have their team up in the lead with 4.15 to go. And that's right. Eight minutes will be the playoffs game, and this will be the start of this way. While seven minutes of this game will be the regulation period. As right now, this will be the new change of update here for the season, as this will be always eight minutes on the game. So we will see how will we do to get there. Count the bucket and one for Paolo Banchero. He finally has his sixth bucket in the game against the Knicks. Now the new changeup coming in. That's right now. Robinson checked in for Gordonstein. You know, an easier way to do this for Paulo Banchero. He had that one all coming down. He's going to get that one fixed in, and he does it. Mark Alfonso has checked in for the Atlanta Magic. One shot for Banchero. And he will have that one down. Brunson's got the ball. Suggs on him now. Trying to cut it in the move. In a way. Over around him. 
and good backing made by Jalen Brunson. He has another two point ability, back down by two. You know, every ever hard one takes it all, but this was not always the day. You really have to be here for one of the reasons here, because that's what Jalen Brunson's doing. He had done a lot of his routines that he could get stuff. You know, impossible ways, it's never going to easy it out if he can get there. Here's Fultz, cutting back out of the slot, and he's fouled. Dante DiVincenzo will have his first personal second team foul called on New York with 3.20 remaining. At the line for Second shoot to the free throw line will be Orlando Magic. It's Markel Fultz at the free throw line, shooting two. He hits the free throw down. Now it's a new substitution bill change as all, all players are checked out. Boma McDonough, after trade off from the Detroit Pistons, he's now in with the New York Knicks with the Chua, McBride, and Burks. Magic are also making new changes as Anthony Ingles and Isaac are checked in. Well, the reason is right now because of what they say is about Boba Madonovich. After playing with the Detroit Pistons, he has definitely wants to make a lot of switch here because at that moment really has to be going in between for the emotion to take all this time. You know, the effort doesn't really have it all because if they don't do well enough, then they can't have that one fold down to get that one through. That's a hard one's going to be about, and this will not be a detentional if they can try to like let go of Obama Dunnage get in there, because right now he just left, someone will have to replace him in the New York Knicks soon, have a better response. Oh, what a block here, they, and a shot clock gets turned over, Magic will take their possession in 103 minutes. Oh, and that's going to be a hard one to take, because you know what, you get that down. And right now it's on the points and toss for the last 10 games in between the Magic and the Knicks. They're tied up in the place. Well, it's a lot of hard work to take all of this response and effort. You know, the way they do it, they don't really maintain it well and pressurizing it. They just can't let that happen and go right between here. Every time they play in there, it's just what no one does. They don't get that one in there pretty soon enough because that's a hard one that they do. Another three-point miss here by Joe Ingles. Burks now by McBride. McBride up. The layup. Unplugged as a chill will have it. And the foul is called on Markel Fultz. And this will be his first personal. Second team foul called on Orlando. Well, no way you can't do that one because Bruce just a chill up. Trying to get that one rebounded in there. But that was caught that put in the wire leading on that opponent of that guard. That one had to be a tight, close, great game in the matches. They can't let that happen and get their through. Second trip to the free throw line will be the New York Knicks with only 2.30 to go in the first period. Hits the first free throw for Chua. You know, hard thing about that one for Chua, he does not want to get intentionalized because that's what happens. They don't do one of his contribution and he just had to make sure he gets that one in there without getting bumped out. That's what they don't do. They can't let that happen. And the next free throw comes in right by. Here's Anthony. He will have it over now again to Colts. Colts trying to give over to Wagner. Wagner watching here as Isaac will have it. Isaac now finds Markel Colts. Rolling around. Brock. Can't hit the shot here. And yeah, when another miss goes in by Orlando. You know, the tough shots are not really always that easy. It's just not the way appearances can do. They can't let that happen. Get right in there. If they get that in between. After McBride with the assist, with only two minutes remaining, here's Isaac. Back to get it, Anthony. Fultz on the three range. Good! A range outside puts it in. Marco Fultz with five points. And assist it puts up here by Anthony. Well, you're never going to get that one all that credit. You just got to sure, you got to make sure you get that all set and down. And you now know your deal. Isaac with the block. And now finds it again to Ingles. Now has it over it again. Passes now to Fultz. Fultz swings it. Pass broken up on Robinson. Now here comes Burks. Burks trying to roll it in the, in the paint. Around Fultz. Good drive for Alec Burke. That will be another bucket in range for the New York Knicks. He has four. 
you know, I would say about Alex Brook, he really made that one all in common. He made that one all maintain it. It's a pressurizing, it's not always a, the day, but they always see you. Because that's what they do because Alex Brook has been really wanting to get his team in. I say he's a pro. Give him a go. Eagles for three. Off the rim and back again to Wagner. And it's lost the ball as Robinson will have it again to McBride. 40 seconds in the first period. Screen coming. Here's another take. Oh, your ball. What a take slam dunk here. As Mitchell Robinson had that one coming in by. Well, back in the lead now. Comes in pretty full effort. May not be all that you're looking for. Cole Anthony back on the outside looking for help with under 30 seconds. And now he finds it to Ingles, takes a shot. And Fultz over Alec Burt. Layup back the other way for Markel Fultz. He has seven points. Well, it's a great effort now because they're keeping it going right between layup to layup, coast to coast drives. We love that one. Now with Einstein trying to get that one bucket in. Up shot. No good. And Isaac will close the first quarter here. It's a 20 to 19 score. This is going to be a close this range, but what a great start between New York Knicks. But the early range puts up for the magic. We'll get the second quarter after this. And if you're just tuning in, we're back in. Ready to start the second quarter. And now we have the start as Wagner will have his position. He now finds a pass over again to Schutz. Schutz now finding again to Harris. New new group substitution and has now Brunson with DiVincenzo, Hardenstein and Ananobi, and Park. The backhand pass around finding Wagner again to Suggs. Suggs over Brunson. That shot off the rim and it's another miss goes in by the Magic. Well, you're not going to get that one in there because that Suggs pass can't let that fool you. And it's stolen. Here he comes, Harris up, the finisher. Oh, what a making wraparound for the drive for Gary Harris. Six points of his game. Now it's 22 to 19. All you have to do is just keep on attacking, just get the pressurized, post it in, do it all. We have a reporter for Ali LaForce that's right at the moment. As you know, he's been talking to one of his other coach coach in between. I have a lot of a favorable player, and he may have it all coming in bound. But as I mentioned it before, guys, this might not be the one day that you're looking over it again. Because they really have it all way down, and they do not have that one imperable on this play out. You know, this is what they do because Tom Fabio was giving out instructional ways. He's trying to get that one all over at the right time to get over this and done. A lot of players just not going to keep on coming in there because they don't get enough that siphon. If you just don't get enough, they got to make sure to get this one done single time. Wagner now finds Suggs, and now here's Wendell Carter Jr. up with the shot. Denied by Hardenstein. With the shot. And that can't go in there as Jalen Brunson with the rebound. Here's Dante Tivincenzo now trying to give it to Hardenstein, but Brunson has it. Up with the two. No good. Range back. Good. As Hardenstein has the rebound put back in. A battle taken between as he has eight points. Well, you all have to make that without Isaiah Hardenstein. Give it a go. You know, it's not really what they do to say that Hardenstein is a big guy, but all you say is now Hardenstein does well with his defense. He's always in the center. You just really want to make sure he has that one all posterized in the middle. Gary Harris for two. Kevin able to hold on with the two point range. And here's Hart in the middle, driving the attack in the rim. Orlando trail by three. Here's Ben Chara now finding again his size. Up for the three to tie it. And it's off the rim again as Hart takes another rebound. You know, they're not getting enough threes in between. They were having a little difficult time in the start of the second half, second period. But this is not what they always do. They can't let that one help that one out. If they don't get it done, then this is what they don't do. They don't pressure it, they don't get it done. Play up in. It's good. Number two point here, takeover, as now the Magic are trying to answer it back. And here's Wagner now finding Suggs. 
Looks now to Harris. He wants to give it back over to Suggs. Poppy on a step motion. He now finds Wagner. Looks to Banchero. Open over to two. It's good. Banchero has nine points in this game. They're back down by three to cut the digits for the Knicks lead. And the first time I will call for the New York Knicks. 435 left to go in the second period. Look like they wanted to get some more fun and keep our excitement down. All you know now, they do that they want to do. They get that one all coming in there, pressurize it, get it done. You know, I have a lot of great feelings about what can they say? How can they go with the uh, handoff? Maybe you may have a lever switch. I mean, you never know if they can get that one all pressured up and get it done. Because there might be another way they can get that one finished. If you're all looking for your next game, we've got the sixth seed versus the third seed as the Pacers take on against the Cavaliers for the second game of the matchup. Then following along with the Western Conference on the other side as we will get this thing underway to have it all pressured in. Four versus the fifth seed will be all for everything as the Clippers face on against the Dallas Mavericks. Following along with the next one here as we will have another group. It's the Pelicans taking on against the Timberwolves. And then the third seed will have it against the sixth seed. As the Suns take on against the OKC Thunders for the final game of the first day of the NBA playoffs. And the second game will happen with Minnesota and the Pelicans. We'll find out what will they do. Now with a new slide substitution, as right now we get into another one for two stats of Jalen Brunson. Here's Brunson, he's on Suggs. Kind of trying to go from gear. Spin around the move, over Suggs. Rolls in and out. That hard shot's going to be like a takeout to go with the bigger right? And this is not what they usually do. They can't let that fool out. They really are trying to work their way off. And this is the butt off attack. They can't let that one happen if they get there. And Black, fine again to Banchero. Again to Suggs. He finds the pass, broken up by Gernstein. Here's Arnebi on the fast break. Spins around. Layup, no good. Unable to complete the drive, but this one goes with another miss by New York. Well, that was going to be a hard pressure. Not everyone's good at it to try to make a spin and drive, but you just got to make sure you're all going to work. Black to tie the game. Good! Range outside, wins it in as Black has his first three pointer. Ben Sherrill with the assist. All for pressure rising for Black. He's ready to go for the tap room. And now Bench uh, Brinson up. Finish the drive. He gets away with the go back to cut up with the two. He's black. Now finds Suggs. Over middle to Banchero. Good again by Suggs. And Banchero with 11 points. It's a great pass. That's going to happen. But most of the key in this position, it really uh, make it out with a lot of appearance. And again for Brunson, another cut down game as they are up back up at two. They do not want to leave that mess up in the mark out there, do they? No, not at all. I do not want to say this is not going to be like a perfect game in the mix. Bounce pass tries to find a Carter. Over Hardenstein. That good PD here by Hardenstein now gives the card back to Ananobi. And Ananobi trying to hold on with this pressure. Range again, now find DiVincenzo. Here's a pass to Rodenstein, and a great try, big save for Rodenstein. Timeout called by the Orlando Magic with 235 minutes to go in the same period. Well, it's a pressure, and it's a killer. You know, the main team of it is not really like what they've all been seeing, because they don't get that one enough in the comfortable positions. They don't really, they don't really get enough to that one of probably scoring. You know, they trout doesn't happen to be one of them, and this is not what they always do. Because at that point, they really have a lot of timing, they just don't do enough of that of a serious killer that they can't let that one go right by. They really gotta step it up, and they really need someone to get right from here. And I know they won't even get enough at that point, but let's find out if they do. We got no idea who's gonna win the first game.
substitution is right now we are back into the strength. As right now the new substitution players are on the court. We're ready to get this thing off. Three players have checked out as Akua, Bogdanovich, and McBride are checked back in. Orlando Magic are also making new changes as all five players are checked out. Wagner, Isaac, Gingles, Fultz, and Black are checked in. Nearing down to the two minute mark as right now coming up will be the halftime show. As we have one of them take on its way down for Ernie, Ernie uh, Johnson, along with Kenny Jespit and Shaq O'Neal. Oh man, you don't need to drive all through the Markel Fultz. He doesn't reverse that way, but it's a one creation platform. Get that one to go with the wraparound and load it up backwards. Two minutes remaining in the second period as this one gets into Vicenta. Even Chenzo trying to step in now with the two range off the mark and put back in by Park. Another one turns it over as Hart will have it over now with a number two point to go to the four digit lead. And here's Wagner. Give again to Ingles. Ingles trying to step in now. Wagner helps the screen. Wagner tries to go over again now finding Ingles again to block. Three for Bolts. It's good! Reach outside, makes the mark! And they're back down by one. He has 12. Well, not everybody's going to get over this one. They're really trying to get that one off to another angle. You've got to go for three. Go ahead. Get it done. Hart with the spin around. Up and move! The two, no good. Isaac now finds again at angles and now gets again to Wagner. One minute remaining in the first half. As now the layup puts in for Isaac, they have to lead up by one. As Wagner makes the assists. They keep on coming to digit down, they just really do not want to make that one too much hard on that one pressure. They can't let that one go the line. And that turns it over to be Magic Ball, a turnover by New York. Let's have a look here as the league leaders and opponent on the points. This one's a tight one in between, but 101 seems to do the trick. They're in first place right now. Oh man, I don't know what they can do. If they want to keep on scoring, they got to do the outpost once more. Folks, now find again to black. Ten on the shot clock. Isaac trying to roll around in by Hart. Here's a three for Folks. And a triple range is off the mark. Here's Steve Vincenzo will have his time. Up in the wraparound and the layup drive puts in for Dante DiVincenzo. They're back up by one. This is a close game in the fourth and fifth seed matchup. Well, let's see what Fulk does. Does he do it? Gets it back. Now finding Black. Now finds Ingles. Slides it in across, now finding Black. Here's Ingles. Over Bedanovic shot. It's good. He finally has his first fucking range to take the lead. 38-37. Well, now you know Joe Ingles got a better. He got a good range to go on with Bedanovic. But the shot denied by Wagner. And that will end the first half of the game. 38-37. What a close game this is. Who will step in the locker room as right now we have is David Eldridge on the sideline. Hey Dave. Here's Ali, he's on the sideline. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau and Tom. What's it gonna take down the stretch to win this ball game? I think just tough defense, take good shots, not turn the ball over. Thanks, Mark. Back to the basics. Thanks, Coach. All right, Ali, thank you so much. Stay tuned. The third quarter is coming up after the break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny and Jeff Smith. Markel Fultz was on fire in the first half. He had 12 points and two rebounds. This has been a bounce back game for him after some struggles there last time out. What did you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Magic? We have to recognize their bench, but sometimes we overlook the second. But tonight, they did. The coaching staff has got to do other bits, getting that extra piece. Is and Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? I like how they're working the ball down low and finding easy looks. They make the turkeys and the six up in the second half, but I say Steve Lewis will force the other team to adjust to the way you play. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And after a long first 
stop for the break. We welcome you back here at Kia Center in the start of the third quarter. I got a great salute to give to Markel Fultz. He may not win a lot easier at this point, but the range is never worth the wild making of how he does his own best. Well, just to make that one clear for Markel Fultz, he made that one with an absolute to start that one on his process. He did that one really earlier at that range. You know, just the way you feel like Markel Fultz, you definitely like to play for him. You gotta play as him. Everybody's been going over this and they can't let that mark go in by. And I know it's a bit traumatical feeling, but they don't really do that much often. They can't let that one help and work at all. Here's Sucks with a shot! The two-point range can't hit the mark, and this one goes back again to DiVincenzo. Now trying to find it over. Back supper. Hard find Steven Genzo. Looks out of heart. Shot. Layup. No good. Window corner Jr. not finding Suggs over again. Manchero. Manchero can't hold on with the ball as he turns it over to New York Knicks ball. Now that's a bad turnover. That's what happens now because the bad one comes in because they can't let that one get right between. They don't have the right uh, potential way to get through it. And that's going to be like a difficult range if they can't let one slow down. TV Chan will not find Brunson. Trying to hold off the attacker in a layup drive. Play it back by Hardenstein. Brunson for three. It's good. A range outside. Plugs it in. They are backed up, up by two. Well, it's a bad switch to switch on this zone, and this one never comes along. They don't really get enough of that excitement there, ever again. And Sucks now finds again a Wagner. Posterizing the ball. Now finds it again to Sucks. Top of the two. Two drop, and it's good. Jalen Sucks with a second bucket. They're tied up now. All you say now, Jalen Suggs gets that one all you can definitely take. What a pressure. The three-pointer doesn't make the lead up as now it goes back again to Suggs. Here's Harris with the ball. Now finding again to Suggs. And Manchero. Over the layup, he's fouled. Josh Hart with the second personal foul and their next team foul puts up on New York with 6.14 to go. That will be their third team foul for the New York Knicks. Hits the first free throw. The mark range doesn't always make it perfect because the rookie players definitely do have a lot of takes in this respective range. You know, I have a lot of a hard one because rookie players are definitely worth it. The while I'm not taking, I have no idea what will Banchero do for the next in this rookie year. Because he might be stepping to make his increase fit. This is what happens if he does. If he doesn't get that one in there in time, then he might have a little bit of a difficult situation because they can't really help that one concentrate on that one. They really leave the mark, they can't let that one go by. Here's Hardenstein, go up and goes in. Makes a teardrop flow in as he put back up in the lead here for 42 to 41. Ball's not loose, Manchero tries again, makes a lot of try. Here in the back to back range is Manchero's 14 points. The crowd going crazy here as Manchero's been one of the rookie players of the year. Looking to see if he gets more. That's what they all bet. They really say Banchero doesn't have it. And Banchero with the block. Rebound again by Brenson. Oh, that is a heavy take there. Nasty look. I thought that foul was going to be a curve, but it doesn't have it. And he misses again. And he's fouled. Count the bucket and one. Jalen Suggs with his second bucket, with his second foul. As now with Isaiah Hardenstein, they are at the free throw line. He's at the free throw line shooting one. Even Chenzo and Harder checked out. It's Burks and Mitchell Robinson are checked in. There's not was much time to do this one here because if you have nowhere where to go, try to get that one in there. The bucket range is worth it while to put the credit to. You just got to make sure you get that one in time. And Hardenstein can't hit the digit mark. 
Here's Suggs. Face a shot. Not find Harris. Banchero tried to go over in between. Not find the pass again to Harris. Looks now finding Banchero. Over and down. And he's fouled. Hardenstein receiving their foul as they have their fifth first 15 foul for the New York Knicks with 5.08 to go. Well, you see the desperation here because they've had Tom Vibidio. Just have to make sure you get that one right away. That's a hard body contact. That body language is going to be a hard one to get a painful look at what they did. He hits the first free throw. Now with the new substitution as Cole Anthony has checked in for Jalen Suggs. He has a couple of fouls he has to watch out for with only 5.08 to go. Yeah, everybody's going to have to take some rest of the time because if they get four fouls, they're going to need to sit down for sure. We don't want to leave that mark. And a second free throw will send in for Pencho. Here's Brunson, you will have the ball. Brunson trying to feel it out a little bit. Over to two, and it's good with the teardrop flow the other way as they now have that one cutting up by one. And Cool Anthony give a pack pass to Kerry Harris. Harris trying to give a swing off to Anthony. Anthony wants to make a new change up. The bounce pass to Banchero. Over Robinson. Oh, that one tough table, but no foul called on New York. Well, Mitchell Robinson was really clean. They didn't really want to make that one too hard out of it. Rebound by Hardenstein. Tries to hold it up. Loses the ball. Anthony third to a tough middle range. Oh, how do you stop that one as Hardenstein posterized that slam? Oh, and that one puts a dunk again for the Knicks. So oh, they're going to need to send that rim over. That's going to be like a pain. Ouch. And that rim, it just says, I had enough of that one dunk. It hurts me, it kills me hard. And Anthony trying to roll in to finish the try. Up it goes in, and in the bucket range. He has his first bucket. A lot of big lead changing here. There's now one coming in for New York Knicks. Here's Brunson. Up the two. Takes it in. Orlando trail by three. Vancero now in over again in the wing. And Anthony wants to have it over to begin to Wagner. Wagner trying to fill it out a little bit. Harris in the corner now. Harris needs to find another new look. Bounce pass to Wagner. Finds it going again to Carter Jr. Anthony, no room for the three. It's off the range. And the mark goes back again to Burks. And there's no target out range. They don't have that one clear vision. They don't have that one in courtesy to try to step it in between the gaps. The zone is not even the worthy that they can't let that one go in. Another miss by the New York Knicks. And now we're going to go three minutes remaining in the third period. Here's Wagner. Finding now Banchero. And Cole Anthony on the outside. Banchero now finding the opposite side over Hardenstein. What a try by Banchero. He has 18 points trying to get a pass over with the lead over Hardenstein. Well, there's another way that's what Banchero does. He really has that one keeping in the right timing in his motion. That courtesy step is a long the way profit. Over Anthony, that's the two puts in the mark. Timeout called by Orlando Magic with 2.24 to go in the third. Still have a lot of time left here before the fourth quarter comes in near. And now they're ready to do this one again, trying to find for some more answers in between the range of the site. You know, one possible enough is not really the crazy one. You definitely have to say for now for yourself, they just really need to get this one stepping into. And you know, that hard feeling for the head coach of the Magic, they really are trying to get that one in there on the right time. Their team has never been into the playoffs that long after Steve Clifford has left with the Orlando Magic. They definitely really wanted to bring it back home to the Charlotte Hornets, but the bad thing is, it's probable enough that they don't have that one at the right timing to get this. It's all what happens now because you just don't really think, you're not even ready, don't try to give up your force. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 
Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by American Express. Don't live life without it. Do some positions are on the court as right now the new couple of players have checked in. Gordy Nix and the Magic. Four players have checked out as four players have checked in. Akuma Bogdanovich, Burks, and McBride. Now on the other side puts in as Palmer four players have checked out as Colts, Isaac, Ingles, and Wagner will switch into the center. Fultz try to look over again and now find the Eagles. He's ready to take the two. Bound one. Oh, what a fucking lucky make for our two Eagles. He finally has that one coming in with the two. Oh, that fucking can definitely get through that form. Two Eagles, what do you got? You know, it's a hard one to take over because Joe Eagles never really had that one coming in to take his lead. But his time is coming in by. One free throw coming up for Joe Ingles with two most sticks remaining in the third period. Looking to see if they can tie this game with 52. Ingles can't tie this game. You know the bad feeling about that? They really can't let that one go in high. I have a hard feeling that they do not want to leave that one walking off. Though. And here comes Isaac on a poster show! Wow! Jonathan Isaac showing that one with a post and dunk shot! So I said, let me hear you! Oh, that one's going to be like take for Jonathan Isaac to make the slam dunk down. You make that one worthwhile on your ability. Don't take it from me! Oh man, I really love that one. This is what Jonathan Isaac does, he just slams it down. And the foul's called on Orlando Magic. And it's Alex Burke at the free throw line shooting to the Wagner foul on Orlando Magic. Well, the problem with that one, they're not really like hard to feel like that Alex Burke can't get that, hit that flow mark because the defender went on him and he had that one with the pick. That's a nasty playoff look. They can't let that one score in big if they don't have to. Right Curry to go from the back range to the post plane. They can't let that one leave the mark in. First free throw can't tie this game. And now he has a second. They want to leave the one point mark as it's still even up. There's a lot of great matches in between. Let's take the consequences if can get their fruit. Fine again to Wagner. Layup, wrap around. Good defender here by a co op. A Chihuahua has that first rebound. Now give again to Jalen Brunson. And now he finds McDonough. Now a lot of new pickoffs look here. Here's Brunson shot up and layup in for Brunson. They're back in the lead now with two, just a mere you know, minute mark in the third. Well, there's the one chance, they're just trying to catch their breath, and then get ready for the fourth quarter. Jonathan Isaac in the corner now, Anthony nowhere to go. The three, Kenneth at the mark, a lot of offensive rebound by Wagner. Shot clock down to six. Markel Fultz to tie this up. Unable to get that one in there. Oh, he just did not really think he was going to get that one tied up. That's really a hard one to take, but not everyone's at it. You don't take that one offended. And Jalen Brunson with another two-pointer range. And now Anthony will have it over again to Fultz. Oh, he wants to go for a drive down. This time he got it. He has 14 points. Looking to tie this game again in the first game. You know, a possible way that this is what they do. It's an endless score. They really have a lot of them to keep on coming. Great defender by Joe Ingles. And Ingles try to look over in between. 15 seconds to remain. Let the clock wind down. Now he finds Fultz. Loses the ball. Jalen Brunson, will he have the time to do it? McBride, the buzz beater. And roll up the win. Close game it is. It's a 57 55 game. We are about to get this thing started for the fourth quarter.
All you know that, the big battle attacker, what you got? Make that one feel history. More moments later are still to come. We've got a lot of great baskets in between. You betcha. Fourth quarter coming up after the break. We'll be right with you after this. And a moment now to reveal your State Farm assist of the game. Now the pressure rising is not always I can tell you, but it's great to say that they've really uh, gotten a great alley successful. Right to Mitchell Robinson, he's done that one really well. Yeah, speaking of that one here, he's been doing really good. I'm guessing he could go for another one if he can take it. We've come down to the final quarter in the Amway at Kia Center. We start things up and ready to get this thing boarded with the final group substitution on. Jalen Brunson, he's on sub jugs. Then it's Ben Chero, he's with on Josh Carr. And finally, then we have across is Wagner on Hardenstein. Fultz is on Dante DiVincenzo. And finally, we have it here, it's McBride on Wagner. He finds Ben Chero to get a tie. And he makes it in. What a shot for Ben Chero. He has 20 points with Wagner with the assist. Oh, you have to count that one down. That was a hard take and bounding playable. Make that count. It's a possible endless way to get this done. And he's fouled again as Wagner will have his second personal foul with 7.13 to go. Oh, I don't know about that one. That might be a close range to keep the mark out. They do not like that at all. Free throw coming up for Jalen Brunson as another free throw is on its way for the New York Knicks. Stop the clock at 7.13 to go in the fourth quarter. The free throw makes in for Jalen Brunson. Now the Orlando Magic are making new changes as Wendell Carter Jr. checks in for Wagner. And he hits the second free throw. Back to back switch here as they are trailing by two. And Markel Fultz trying to put a stop on the posting, posting surf run. Go ahead. And now finds Suggs. Gets a screen for Wendell Carter Jr. Gives a go to Wendell Carter Jr. Up, and he went short. Oh, what a great team here by Isaiah Hardenstein. And now it's Brunson with the ball. Carrying it in, trying to look for more room. Finds that Hardenstein. Passes again to Hart. Banchero on him. Screen on Hardenstein. This goes in. Off the rim on the back iron. Wagner. Finds it now again to Carter Jr. And now again to Banchero. Banchero now finds Fultz. Fultz. Back stepper. Unable to get it back in to tie it up. Well, that's a hard one to take all that pressure ranging. You are nowhere to go. But can't let that go by. Three-pointer makes it in for Deontay DiVincenzo with 6.10 to go. And Fultz will now have it on the airway. Wagner trying to get back again to Markel Fultz. Suggs, open look for the three. Good! Reach in! And number two pointer comes up for Suggs with six points. Oh, uh, that no one is on the offender. They are not even going to like that one. If they can't leave the mark in there, they got to get going. Give off to Hardenstein. The layup is not in there. And a good take big rebound for Hardenstein to go back with another cut digit lead up by four. Banchero now finds Fultz. Sides now tries a three. Unable to get a three pointer in there, and this one goes back to the mixed ball. Well, they're shooting like everywhere. They're not even like posting in. If that's what happens, the breakdown is not going to get easier enough. They can't let that mark go in. Fultz trying to get the sides again to what a great team here by Jalen Brunson. And OG Anobi. On Wagner. Give a go look here by DMT DiVincenzo. Back again to Anobi. 
And Brunson, oh, another big takedown driving mistake here. And there is no poster to take. They've got to go with a man to man instead. Yeah, and it's a probable to make that one easier enough. They can't let that one go in by. Here comes Dante DiVincenzo up with a shot. Oh, posterize it in. And that one goes with another dunk for the New York Knicks. And Banchero now have it to Wagner. Free for Banchero. It's good. 23 points for Banchero, back down by eight. They really are stepping it in now, but they got to watch him out because if they don't do it, they have to like, leave that one out of here. No question, can't let them go in. Three pointer makes it for Jalen Brunson. They now up their cutting digit lead up by 13. And Wagner can't hold on to the ball, and this one's knocked out. Last touch by Wagner. 4 1 remaining in the fourth period, and now this one will take another dude's change off as Harris will check in for Markel Fultz. Here's Brunson. Brunson trying to watch it in. He's ready to take another one. Two drop. Good. Wow. Jalen Brunson keeps the show going. Looking to get 30 points in his first game against the matchup. Well, that's what they do. That's what Jalen Brunson just saw that one in there. The, the, miss, the measuring the distance, the harder it does that. That's what they all do. Sucks now trying to get a Wagner. For three. He's on a defender as Ionobi got that covering defensive at earlier. Ionobi gives a go to Jalen Brunson. Deontay DiVincenzo now finds Brunson. Over in the corner, now find Ionobi. Dante DiVincenzo setting up a screen. Unable to clear out. Off the two. Misses again as number one puts in for Carter Jr. Now again to Wetner. Here he comes. That drive, good dig here by Anobi. He would have had to fade that one, but it was too late. Yeah, and it's not really a good day for them because that one keeps on coming in down. They don't want to make that one come in. Jalen Sucks will call their timeout with only 2.44 left to go in the fourth quarter of the period. And right now, the team of the New York Knicks Try to answer their way in the first game without slowing down. You know, it's not what they always do because that's what they get this one over done. And posting it, it's not a way to make that one say that you you ever do that one when, when you're playing on the offense and the defense. This is what they don't do. There's a no-go in between this and that. They don't want to leave up to that one to go over the 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 top angle. They can't let that one open the mark, and this one is nowhere to get in between. This is what no one can do. They have to get that one over, and they do not want to leave that one whacked behind. That's what happens because they don't do well enough. They just got to do another offensive work. This is what they do. They got to keep it going as much as they can to get it done. Let's go straight away. And now we have some time to present your New Balance player of the game, Isaiah Hardenstein. All for pressure, everything. Isaiah Hardenstein is a big time all starring ability, and he has it all the way down. He's been going like in between. And just as you know, uh, he, he's definitely doing really well. Just the center he does, the pick up look, get it going. Isaiah Hardenstein might be looking for his next player of the game in game number two, but we'll keep an eye on it with you shortly for your next game to come. And a slam down puts in for Jalen Sucks. 31 points for Jalen Brunson. He finally has already made it over 30 points in the game. The two-pointer hits off the dust. Carter Jr. now finding Suggs. Here he comes, Manchero. And takes a shot. Did not see that one coming as he has 25 points in the game. They are down by 10. We are down to a two minute remaining in the fourth quarter as Jalen Bronson up and what a drive making here. And no one's going to cover it up to stop it. Well, you know what? I say Jalen Brunson is a big star. I mean, you got to do this on your own. If you can't, don't take the offense. And now he dishes over to Suggs. Suggs rolling his way back to Banchero. Banchero up with the two. It's good. 
He has 27 points. Try to keep that one pulling back down here at number two point of range. Dante T. Vincenzo sets the screen. Overlook. Bantero, what a deny shot that way. And it goes back over to Wagner. You see that? That's what they always do. You gotta go with the block shot. I like that one. That is a better play that you gotta give that credit to. Wagner in the corner for two. And off the range it goes in as Hart takes another rebound back to Brunson. He finds OG on an OB. Wagner on the cover. Finding in to Brunson. Now again to Hart. We're under a minute remaining in the fourth quarter in the first game. And an OB up. Can't hold on. And great D by Wagner. They're really are starting to step it up. They don't want to leave that one messed up again. Another bad switch here as Hart takes the ball away. And now they're going to have to do is just leave it to be. Yeah, there's no way to get rid of that one here. This is what they don't get done. Basically, it's what Magic leaves. It's a better way to get the first game started, but we're happy to have that early range off to start with a good moment for the New York Knicks to keep on going. And now Carter Jr. will have that ball here. Now finding Banchero up for three. Missed off the range, and this one is knocked out. And Dante DiVincenzo will close this game in the first because this winds down. Yep. Everyone saying good night. What a way to be now. Your final score of the night, 79 to 68. New York Knicks earn with a 1-0 lead series over the Orlando Magic. And this is, was the first day that they have been playing it for since season four of the Orlando Magic. Well to be here, and that's what you always can't take up. A lot of like a hard percentage, give it all the credit. And that's gonna wrap it up, folks. With me, Paintbrush along with Ultra Peace. Boomer and Gangsta Beast, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs on TV Sports. Keep your eyes up for the next game on its way. Back to you, Son of Beast. Have a great day, everybody. All right, thank you so much, Paintbrush. A one-way start to go for New York Knicks with a 1-0 lead over the Orlando Magic. Let's have a look and see how they did. Then it was only a great way to make the matchup in between the Wharf to give that one a credit to make the victory chime in Orlando. 48% for the field goes for the New York Knicks. Then it was 27 for the Orlando Magic, or the percentage of the three pointers. Then over gone, it seemed to be like everyone keeping an eye on steady was 67 over 65 with the six three throws made for the New York Knicks and the Magic. But the fast break points was only 15 for the New York Knicks. Following along with the 64 points in the paint for the New York Knicks. 17 second, second chance points for the New York Knicks. 27 and 29 was the bench points and the assists for the Orlando Magic. Then a 15 assist is putting up the bigger way, but 29 seems to do the trick for Orlando Magic. 19, 27 and 5 for defensive, defensive rebounds and steals for the New York Knicks. Only 6 blocks has remained right in between of the e offense and the defensive settling inbound turned to be like crazy for Orlando Magic to keep it in. Then three turnovers was New York Knicks. Five team fouls was even. Five dunks for the New York Knicks. 15 biggest lead of the night and time possession was 17-11 for the Orlando Magic. Now it's time for the three star players of the game as I start off with you. Wood Spoonie, you stick it first. All right, thank you so much. Third star, we're going to give that one off to a low range as Isaiah Harden signs a New Balance player to guide with 19 points, 19 rebounds, 2 assists, and 1 steal. Only got 2 blocks for it, mainly right in between the defensive settle score, just took it here. 9 out of 12 field goal range and only made 1 dunk and 24 performance. What a great way for the center to keep the guards in. Now let's move over to number two as we head it over now to Orlando Magic as Paolo Banchero with 27 points, five rebounds, two assists, one steal, and two blocks was the cut course to take it all. 11 out of 13 field goal range and one three-pointer was given. Only 32 performance run for the Orlando Magic. Have to be all for clear as Banchero, the rookie player, does it all. 
And now for you, number one of the star. That's right, number one goes out to Jalen Brunson with 33 points, three rebounds, one assist, and one steal. Only had 14 over 28 field goal runs and two three pointers as mine, and only 35 performance efforts turned to be like a crazy look in between. With a look out, and you get that one going in. The point guard does it all. He did great. And that will do for the first game here for Orlando Magic and the Knicks. I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for the next game as we've got the Cavaliers facing against the Pacers with the third seed versus the sixth seed. It's going to be a whip or what one of a world only that they can definitely try to like keep that one going in. But you may never know. The possibilities are endless. Yeah, it's true. But you'll see what comes in under why next. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. We'll be right back with the second game coming up after the break. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.